Hi guys, let me talk to you about a body condition score measuring uh, scale, okay? So, uh, at the top end, you've got the obese dog. These are dogs who will live up to two years less life than a dog of the same breed and of the same age, potentially, okay? So these guys are the really big fat dogs who are waddling down the street, okay? Unfortunately. Down at the, uh, at the thin end, um, they are the really, really skinny dogs, okay? And what we do is we call them, uh, it's a nine point scale, and at the top we call that a nine, and at the bottom it's a one. And what we want our dogs to be is either a four or a five. Let me just take you through that. Let's go from, let's define a nine, and then we'll define a one, and then we'll do the ones in between. So, with a, a, a nine, we've got just um, big, big, big dog. You can know, you can see that there are fat deposits everywhere, that they haven't got a waist. You cannot, uh, you can't even find the ribs. You can't, let alone feel the ribs. You've got fat deposits on the neck and there's, there's the abdomen is, is distended. Then down at the other end, um, you've got the very 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 skinny dogs, and with these dogs, you can you can feel every single rib. You can see that they have lost muscle over their pelvis, and you may even be able to feel the the vertebrae and uh, shoulders and what have you. You can see that there is some uh, uh, loss of the muscle. Okay, and you know, they're obviously very tucked up. So. Obese, really obvious. Super skinny, number one, very obvious. Nine and one, very obvious. Let's have a look at uh, a four and a five. So a, a four would be where you can you can feel the ribs, but there is just a degree of 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 cover, that and you might even be able to. Uh, see or feel that last rib. Obviously, if you've got a skinny sighthound breed, that's going to be much more easy. If you've got a big shaggy Portuguese water dog or something, then uh, you, you're you not going to be able to see it and you have to feel it, okay? But we're looking, I think for a raw dog, four is great. Five is okay, four is great. So, uh, out of four, we can feel the ribs. We've got abdominal tuck, um, but they have good musculature and they're looking great. A five would be similar, but a little bit more, a little bit more cover over the um, over the ribs. But still, you can you can feel the individual ribs. You can see that they've got a waist when you look at them from above, and they've got a degree of abdominal tuck. Let's have a look at a two. Uh, a two is where we've got we, we can feel the ribs and the uh, hips very easily you can't feel any fat but you can't feel that they're obviously losing muscle mass um, and so that would be be those guys if we look at a three which is a skinny ideal we would say right we can feel the ribs and there's not really any palpable fat um, that you may just be able to feel some of the, the, the backbone and the pelvis, the hips. Um, there is a very obvious waist and abdominal tuck when you look at the abdomen from the side or from above. Okay, so let's have a look at an eight, which is uh, just a little bit better than the obese nine. We still can't feel the ribs. We've got still got lots of heavy fat deposits. We can't see a waist, but they're just a little bit trimmer than the maximum weight that they could possibly carry. If we look at a seven, the ribs might be slightly palpable, uh, but only just. Um, there's not really much abdominal tuck. And if you look at them from above, there may be a, some um, narrowing but not really very much. If we look at a six, we've got the ribs. You can feel the ribs, but there's a little bit too much covering for them. And uh, you can see the waist from above, but, but it's not very distinct. And there is just the beginnings of an abdominal tuck. So there you go. 
goes from skinny at one to obese at nine and we are looking for a four or a five ideally a four in a raw fed dog but i'll give you a five pretty easy very useful talk to your vet to get a weight and to get a body condition score so that you can fully fully assess your dog